Hello everyone, it's a blue drake, and today we're going to be stepping into the wonderful world of Toy Soldiers War Chest. A quaint little game where you can senselessly murder the happy, frolicking toys of your childhood. And I don't know about you, but hearing the painful screams of Barbie dolls being relentlessly slaughtered among the butterflies and dandelions is music to my ears. Alright, Subtix, the blue drake. First things first, get some stuff out of the way. No, I wasn't paid to make this video. Although, however, I did have my plane ticket paid for, and Ubisoft, the publisher, also bought me some food. So if you consider that selling out, then yeah, buy me a sandwich. But otherwise, let's talk about some Toy Soldiers War Chest. So what is this game? Well, it's, I mean, it's tower defense, essentially. I thought it was going to be an RTS at the time, but, you know, hey, that's not, that's not bad. Tower defense. P people like tower defense. So, before we go on anymore, let's talk about the best three things in this game. First off, the heroes are pretty cool. You can call down hero units from the sky and take control of them directly and just destroy the hell out of everything. Obviously, you can take control of the turrets too, but that's a given. I mean, in a game where you can only build on tiny pre-designated platforms, you better let me take control of the damn turrets. Second, the destruction. The destruction is very cool. It's, um... It, it's kind of meaningless. <laughs> but it, it, it is cool. Shooting up cactuses piece by piece. That's... It's, it's fun. It's no Rainbow Six Siege destruction. But I'll be damned if it's not a little fun. And last, but not least, is the multiplayer. The multiplayer was actually pretty great. I had a lot of fun in the multiplayer. I got to play against a couple of the other YouTubers, and I might be biased because I was way better than them, and I made a couple of them rage quit, which was incredibly satisfying. But, yeah, multiplayer. Multiplayer is where it's at. Alright, so now, n now we talk about the bad shit. This game is grindy. It feels grindy as fuck. Especially in single player. Near the end of the play sessions, I was just sitting there like, God damn it, just fucking die! I'm so tired of killing you all! And with the lack of your ability to build turrets anywhere other than the few pre-designated places where you're supposed to build them, yeah, that, that got old really fast. Secondly, in the weapons, there's not that much variety per faction. You get a machine gun, you get a anti-tank gun kind of thing, you get a howitzer, a mortar, and then an anti-air gun, but that's, that's about it. And in terms of the strategies that you can use in order to fend off your opponents, there's not really much to do besides make a couple machine guns in the front, a howitzer in the back, keep them repair the entire time and just pummel the shit out of everybody. And the lack of variety kind of, that kind of killed it for me. But this game, this game, man, the multiplayer, the multiplayer, this game's saving grace is the multiplayer. Multiplayer was awesome. I actually liked the multiplayer a lot. It was really fun. Essentially, both sides get to choose what waves they send at each other, but they simultaneously also have to prepare defenses to repel those waves. And they get to use heroes against each other. Which is great. This really turned the whole turret defense mechanic on its head, since now instead of being the person who's defending against waves, you're actually marching forward with your soldiers that you put on the ground attacking the enemy. Which is the coolest thing ever. So now, instead of grinding against enemies in single player, you have to go between defending and attacking, preparing your defenses, having the hero on the ground, attacking with your forces, deciding which waves to go, and you finally have that variety that can keep your attention a lot more than just sitting there on one machine gun shooting at the same unit for half hour, which was desperately needed, and when we finally got to the multiplayer section, after like three hours of playing single player, I was like, Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. So in closing, what did I think of Toy Soldier's War Chest? I mean, yeah, yeah, it's... It's okay. Yeah, it's not the best game in the entire world, but it's pretty good. And in terms of tower defense, I'm not that big of a fan of tower defense. And for a tower defense game, yeah, it's, just, it's whatever. I liked it. Now, as far as what I recommend buying this game, I don't know, you'd have to be a pretty big fan of tower defense. But, from what I've seen, there are a lot of hardcore tower defense enthusiasts, and this is not even the first Toy Soldiers in the series. The older ones were very well received, so I'm assuming that that audience is definitely going to enjoy this one as well. Ultimately, Toy Soldiers War Chest provides a very refined experience for a very specific audience. 
And if you are the kind of guy that enjoys tower defense shooters with a quirky twist, well, you, this might be the game for you. However, if you're looking for something with a little bit more strategic substance, you might want to save your wallet. Besides that, thanks so much for watching, and as always, I will be reading people in the comments, so if I said anything that was maybe wrong, or you have something to add, please let me know. I'm definitely not the big Toy Soldiers universe enthusiast, so maybe I missed a couple things here and there that you can fill me in on. Regardless, until next time, it's been BlueJack42, and I love you. Bye. Base now? Base now. Fuck.